using the 11 rack with Pro Tools 11 part 2. So in a video I posted the other day, I showed the 11 rack being used with Pro Tools 11 and pretty much everything was working. Now I was having a problem on my system where I could not get embedded rigs, but now I'm happy to report that embedded rigs are working and they are supposed to work. So after posting the video from the other day, I got reports from other people running the 11 rack on Pro Tools 11 with OS X, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, and they reported that they are getting embedded rigs. The great people at Avid Customer Service also chimed in and confirmed that on their internal testing, they are getting embedded rigs. And you can read all this on the Avid Audio forums if you want in the 11 rack section. So I tried a bunch of different things to get embedded rigs to work. And what I eventually found out was up here in setup MIDI and go to input devices. This is what my input devices looked like. So I did some testing by checking and unchecking the 11 rack or the two 11 rack emulated. And what I found out was that on my system, if I unchecked the 11 rack and just had the two 11 rack emulated checked, that all of a sudden I got embedded rigs. I could record a track and as soon as I would stop, the embedded rig icon would pop up, Pro Tools didn't freeze at all like it was doing before, and the 11 rack wasn't just sitting there blinking, it just blinked once and instantly the embedded settings were there. I also noticed that when I launched Pro Tools 11, again I closed it down and relaunched it with just that 2 11 rack emulated checked, I no longer received the 11 rack number 2 could not connect error. So that's a plus as well. So if you were having the same problem that I was, that would be the first thing to check. Go up to setup, MIDI, and input devices and just see what's in there. Maybe try checking and unchecking, record a little part on a track that has the embedded rig settings on it and see what works for you. Also be sure you have come up to setup IO and you've set the source for your 11 rack rig embedded settings. So while I was researching a different problem, again, the great people at Avid Customer Service chimed in and said that on their system uh, running Windows 8 and Pro Tools 11, they weren't getting the two 11 rack emulated. So they suggested that I look in device manager and just see what my sound options were. So if you're on Windows 8 like me, we can get to device manager real easy. We just come down to where we would go to the start menu and just right click and click device manager and up it comes. So once I was in device manager, I saw I had several 11 rack entries listed and I would right click on those and see that they were linked to an old driver from 2009. Apparently, even though the driver had uninstalled, meaning it's not in programs and features, so it wasn't there to be removed, but the entries were still there. And for some reason, Pro Tools 11 was seeing those. And that's why I was getting that too emulated. So if you were having the same problem as me, this may be something you want to look into as well. What I did was I just right click each of the entries even the newest entry and I just right click and uninstalled everything that had to do with the 11 rack driver. If you're running the latest 1.1.6 driver be sure to go to programs and features and uninstall that from there. Make sure it's uninstalled from there as well as in your device manager. So then I reinstalled the driver, booted up Pro Tools and again I didn't have the 11 rack 2 communication error that we were getting yesterday just the one window popped up and boom immediately it launched so if you're following along with this you want to make sure you go back to setup MIDI and input devices and this time you should not have two 11 rack emulated you should just have 11 rack so make sure that's checked then you might have to close Pro Tools down again and reopen it and then you should have access to your mini window if your mini window doesn't come up automatically, like we showed yesterday, just click this drop down and choose 11 rack. So if you look at my device manager now, it's nice and clean. There's no extra entries in there. And if you look at my setup MIDI input devices, you'll see I just have 11 rack. We can still change rigs, mute, adjust the volume. We can use this little lock here to lock the tempo, even though it says guitar tuner button. And best of all, we're still getting our embedded rig. So if I record a little track here, now notice what happens to the 11 rack when I stop recording. Boom. Instantly, we get the embedded rig in Pro Tools. The 11 rack flashes once, and that's it. It doesn't freeze like it did in the video from the other day where it kind of froze and kind of kept blinking and Pro Tools momentarily froze. And now we can load the rig setting right from the audio file. We can right click it, choose load rig setting, and there it goes, it loads right up. Just instantly, this 116 driver is super fast in Pro Tools 11. We can also go over to our clips bin, right click, and load the driver from there. Or we can load the driver over here in our mini window, just click the name, and right there you'll see our embedded rig files. So I'll choose a rig file from earlier. Boom, it loads right up. 
So if you were having the same problem that I was, there is a potential solution. Always have a backup of your system and know what you're doing before you go uninstalling things.